Hey guys, it's Cheddar again, and um, it is now 12.36, and um, I'm kind of getting tired, actually. My voice is getting, my voice is getting tired, and I'm getting a headache, so um, I'll probably do this and maybe two more tutorials, depending on how I'm feeling. Probably get a drink, you know, but, um, yeah. So, anyway... Today we are going to be talking about um, something called, um, what's it called? I don't even know what it's called. Um, it's one of the, okay, give me a minute guys, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I remembered. It's called um, Add Player Class. Alright, so on, on game mode in it, we're going to do Add Player Class class and we'll see model ID we'll do 299 for Claude we'll have five 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 ninety um we're just gonna have minus one minus one minus one one minus one minus one minus one, minus one. Okay, so what this does is it adds a player class. Now, 299 is what player? Now you can find a list of these on the uh, San Andreas Multiplayer Wiki, and I will give a link to it in the description below. Next is the X, Y, and Z position. Now, you can get these in-game doing the slash save command and then looking in your documents. Okay, documents, GTA San Andreas, user files, um, SAMP, and then saved positions. And it'll tell you, you know, yeah. Um, I'll show more about that later. The next thing is your angle, and then that's just like 0 through 360. And then you have weapon 1 ID, weapon 1 ammo, weapon 2 ID, weapon 2 ammo, and weapon 3 ID, and weapon 3 ammo. Now, minus one basically means null, okay? So this guy's not going to have any guns. Um, now, you need to use add player class whenever you want the player to be able to uh, choose what player he wants. And, um, uh, you know, um, uh, play as that player. Alright, so I'm going to pause the video and uh, add some code and then I'll tell you what it means. So, uh, see you in a moment. Okay guys, so if you look here on line 49 through 53, I added a bunch of code. Now, set player interior, set player POS, which means position, set player facing angle, which means angle, set player camera position, and set pl player camera look at. Now, oh man, um, this callback is when the player is choosing which class he wants to be. So, um, basically when you're choosing your player. Now, you can set, basically you have to set the camera position, like, a little away from the player, and then you have to set it looking at the player. Now, um, you can set this up in many, 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 many ways, and, um, you know, and then this just sets his position and angle, and this sets his interior, and, um, I'll talk more about that later, I'll talk more about all this later, but you need to have something kind of like this in your script, you don't have to have the interior, but I do, okay, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty much it. Now, um, I said I'm gonna talk about add player class, but I'm also talking about this stuff. So, actually, I'm not talking about this, but um, actually, let's just say I'm talking about how to make your game mode playable. Okay, so you need this, this. 
and finally I'm gonna add one other thing and I don't have the call back. Public Alright, so basically when the player spawns, I'm just gonna set player Okay, now I'm going to use my little, let's see, I'm going to use a program that I have. Oh man, my voice is getting worn out. Places. Um, actually I'm going to use the program. Uh, this is, this program is for basically cheating in the game. Um, shoot but it's called San Andreas Teleporter, or Teleport 3.0 beta, 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 whatever it is. You can download it free. So, um, this is not for multiplayer, so don't try to use it for multiplayer. Okay, so why don't I put the player at, uh, Is it Lemon's Paw? Uh, here we go. CJ's home. We'll copy the X and put it into X. We will copy the Y. Wait. Okay. And copy it into Y. We'll copy the Z and copy it into Z. All right. I got an error. Oh, I spelled spawn wrong. There you go. Okay. Now, whoa. Make sure that's done. Now, this uh, server um, is all set to go. I uh, just run it. Or er, shoot, shoot, shoot. I don't want to hit that. I don't want to do that. Um, shoot, I hit keep blocking, I didn't want to do that, oh well, um, I don't know if Cam Studio will record my game, so I'm gonna try it, and if it doesn't, I'll tell you what happened, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna add 192.6811, ah, uh, what happened? Oh shoot, I think I messed up my server. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Um. Well, anyway, you run your server and you go on it and you. Yeah. Oh man, darn it, I really need to figure that out though. Um. Time elapsed. 520 seconds? How am I supposed to know how long that is? 1, 2, 7, not 0, not 0, not 1. Oh, man. I really messed up my server. Well, if it does that, kept, uh, do the one that says do not block or whatever. So, um... Yeah, but this would work. You'd be able to play this. It just wouldn't be very fun because there's nothing to do. But, um, yeah, so that basically tells you about how to get your game mode at least a little playable. And, um, yeah, so thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you learned something from this. And also, I just want to say I'm sorry for Cam Studio being such a little piece of crap. I mean,. You know, it uh, it sucks. But anyway, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you later.